Show me some evidence. You're wrong. Space. I won't listen. I refute you. False. Show me some evidence. I won't listen. I refuse to call. Show me some evidence. You're wrong. I won't listen. I refute you. False. Show me some evidence. I won't listen. You're corrupt. I refuse to fall. I refute you. False. You're corrupt. Show me some evidence. I won't listen. Show me some evidence. Show me some evidence. This should prove it. So yeah, I wasn't. So far is right. I don't know if I said it or if I just thought it, but if you do it in that moment when he's using Nega Time, you can just overpower it. Mondo must have replaced his broken handbook with Leon's. In which case, we can just check each of our handbooks right now. Once we do that, we'll. You don't gotta do that. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. He admits. I did it. I killed him. Let's have a look, because one of these we did fucking terrible on. Oh, a Cedar Lewis you can get? For like a fuck. Oh, and we got A on the one I thought we completely fucked up on. Oh, wow. Yeah, missteps, that was the last one. Oh, nice, okay. And where's that one that we got to see? There it is. Oh, okay. Nice. Hundred medals. Bro? Bro? What are you saying? I got no choice, man. After hearing all that, I gotta just... Give up. Give up. Go ahead, Monokuma. Get it over with. I'll miss your voice, man. I really love doing your voice. Ask for the goddamn verdict. Roger that! Wait! Hold on! No waiting! No holding on! Time for the moment we've all been waiting for! Grab your lever and give it a yank! I mean, Teka's result shouldn't really be, you know, taken into account, because I think if one fuck up, you can kill everyone else, and I think he might sacrifice himself for him. Just because of their friendship, so yeah. Who will you elect as the blackened this time around? Will you make the right choice or the dreadfully wrong one? What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Roll up, roll up. Guess your verdict now. Guess your verdict now. And here we go. It is Mondo. That's right. Well done. Well done. You guessed him. You, you got it. Well done. Here's some flowers. This time it looks like you've got it right again! Yes, it is so! The black and the killed Chihiro Vazaki was Mondo Uwada! Unbelievable! In case you're wondering, the vote was not anonymous! Kiyo Taka chose the wrong answer! You're treading very close to the danger zone, Mr. Izumaru! You need to be more careful! <gasps> I refuse to believe it. There's, there's no way, no way he could kill someone. Sorry, sorry. What, what, what is this? Why, why are you apologizing? Why, 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 why? Why? Why did you do it? Now then. Well, it looks like Mondo was taking a vow of silence without me to explain on his behalf. Actually, the story of the murder. The story of the murder this time. It's a sad story of two men. Oh, but for anyone who doesn't really want to hear it, you can hit the control key to fast forward the text. Ooh, I want to see if that actually works, but 
No, I'm not gonna. Anyway, there was once a young boy, and his name was Chihiro Ozaki. He had an extreme inferiority complex regarding his own lack of strength. He was so weak, even though you're a boy. He heard things like that. As long as he could remember. Hang on, I'm going to change my Stanley Parable-ish voice. And he couldn't overcome his weakness. On the contrary, he tried to hide and buried himself further and further into that weakness. To take on the fragile form of, the of a petite young girl. He had chosen that as his way out. Um. Now nobody will be able to say anything about even though you're a boy. But no matter how tightly he wraps himself up in a shell, the inferiority complex had already taken root deep inside of him and was not so easily weeded out. As it turned out, the shell was completely empty. The complex didn't disappear, instead it only grew stronger and stronger. I'm weak. Weak, 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 weak. <laughs> Once the kidding game had begun here at the school, he had no choice but to accept this fact. After all, this world is survival of the fittest. After all, this world is survival of the fittest. If you're not strong enough, you don't survive. And then the lovely and hateful Monokuma announced the revealing of the embarrassing secrets. Which of course included Chihiro's embarrassing secret which I was more than willing to divulge. Even though he dresses like a girl, Chihiro is actually a boy. Hey, um... And that was something Chihiro couldn't let anyone find out, no matter the cost. If that was revealed, it would be the end. The hardened shell would crack, the armor would fall away. Without a doubt, those around him would torture him eat more than ever before. Everyone figured being thrust into such a dilemma must have spent him spiraling into despair. What? And yet... Uh, I'm sorry. Um, s sorry, I don't really want to talk about it right now. But... But I also don't want to leave things the way they are, so maybe I can talk about it later. After I try my best to become strong, then I can tell everyone, see? Annoyingly, he used the threat of discovery to motivate himself to become stronger. That's right. Now's my chance. I want to change. I'm going to get stronger and accept who I am. Strong enough so that when someone says even though you're a boy, it will be okay. I'll get better. With that thought at the front of his mind, he resolved to take... With that thought at the front of his mind, he resolved to take immediate action. And so... That day, he made a commitment to begin exercising. He was prepared to retrain his mind and body. But sadly, that would be the first and only chance he would get at it. Hey, um... When he decided to start exercising, he thought it would be good for someone's help. But he wanted to tell that person his secret first, and then ask them to help him from there. And the person he went to... Yeah, that's right. It was me. <laughs> yep, it sure was! <laughs> the biker gang fellow had been painfully clear about how important his manly promises were. So Chihiro probably figured that even if he confided in Mondo, his honor would make him keep the secret. Uh huh. Plus, Mr. Macho Mondo was as very simple of a strong man that Chihiro had always aspired to. Maybe talking to Mondo about this will help give me some courage. So he went and asked Mondo to keep help him become strong. <laughs> that was his aspiration. And he thought that only with Mondo's support would he ever be able to come close to that. Correct. So then, that must be why Mondo did what he did. To keep the promise he'd made to Chihiro. Huh? Did what he did. Move the rooms. You mean, that's why Mondo carried Chihiro from the boys' locker room into the girls' locker room? Indeed. Yes, that's exactly what I mean. Um... 
Breaking air cover up ray gun? Certainly. That could have been part of it, but I don't think that was the main reason. The real purpose was to keep promise between men. The promise between men, you'd made it your hero. But... But how did Smith and the body keep it secret? Because... Because if everyone knew he'd, be, he'd been killed in the boys' locker room, and everyone would have been arguing about how she got into the boys' locker room, right? Once that started up, at least a few of us would immediately began to suspect his identity, so... He tried to protect Chihiro's secret by putting him in the girls' locker room and stealing the, his handbook, see? Then Mondo did all that to keep the promise he'd made to Chihiro, who he'd also killed. <laughs> Why? Why? Why would he do that? Am I here you talk? Am I don't understand? I mean, you guys trusted each other, right? So why? Why did you? Because no matter what, I didn't want anyone to know. I knew it. So that's what triggered it after all. The possibility of having your embarrassing memories and secrets exposed. What? What is this? That's... That's impossible! Nothing could have been that bad. Something he didn't want anyone to know, even if it meant killing someone. You're wrong! It's impossible! Don't make me repeat myself. How many times... How many times have I repeat myself? To judge others by your own standard is the height of folly. Even if you can't comprehend it, he obviously can. That's all there is to it. <laughs> well, while we're on the subject, why don't I tell you? That embarrassing memory, that secret he didn't want anyone to know. Hey, um... You know what Mondo... You know, what Mondo did? He killed his own brother! <laughs> Mondo, the ultimate biker gang leader, makes all the hoodlums and riffraff across the country tumble. But the only reason he had the chance to join a gang in the first place was because of a certain someone. <laughs> Mondo's older brother's name was Deo Oiwada. Mondo had nothing but respect for him. It was because of Daria that Mondo ever got on a motorcycle. Mondo's brother was his only family growing up. He was the only one Mondo could trust or respect. He wanted to measure up to his big brother, so he imitated him in everything he did. Mondo was the epitome of the starry-eyed kid brother. Meanwhile, the charismatic older brother had put together a local motorcycle gang. And before anyone knew it, it had grown into the biggest biker gang in the country. Daya, the older brother, number one in the gang, and his number two was younger brother Mondo. In the beginning, everything was peaches and gravy. But when Mondo started to think about how he would have to take over the gang from his brother someday, his brother's greatness, his reputation, began to gnaw on Mondo's very soul. So he got jealous. The kid's gonna take over for Daya. Daya created this gang with his bare hands. Mondo's just along for the ride. Could someone like that really be our leader? All that will do is make the gang look bad. Almost every day, Mondo heard the gossip and whispers of the other members of the gang. Which is why... I... I just... I gotta get stronger. Stronger than Daya. Once. Just one time. No matter what, I Go gotta win. With me. I don't care what it takes, I gotta come out on top! And on the night of his amazing brother's retirement ceremony, Mondo challenged him to a street race. But during the race, tragedy struck. The kid brother pushed through ahead with reckless abandon, eager for victory and dashed into oncoming traffic. But suddenly... Well, it's not really him who killed. I mean, that's pretty tragic, but it wasn't, you know, Mondo who killed him. Laying in his kid brother's arms, the older brother delivered his final words. My, my bad kid. I fucked up. Sorry. Of course, he knew it was his brother's fault. But Daya never blamed him for what happened. Well, no, he put himself in the way. I mean, he could have let Mondo die. Hey, kid. The rest is up to you. No matter what, you, 
gotta keep the gang together. Cause it's a team. You and me put together. It's a per a promise between men. <laughs> he decided to hide the truth of what happened from everyone else in the gang. In order to keep the gang together, he keep the promise to his brother. He can never admit to anyone that it was his own weakness that caused the accident. Yeah, that's better. It wasn't him who killed him. As a result, the team was made even stronger under the banner of the kid who bested his big brother. Dyer was gonna lose to his kid brother, so he got stupid and got himself killed. That became the most ex that became the explanation for what happened. Mondo's life became the truth. He wanted to leave the team so bad, he was willing to tell all kinds of lies about his brother. I... I just... I'm strong. <clears throat> strong, 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 strong! And yet... As soon as our killing game began, he realized, no matter how tough he pretended to be, he was just another weakling that could die in an instant. So they're both about... <laughs> People who, who thought they were weak. And then the lovely, the hateful Monokuma announced the revealing of the embarrassing secrets. At that point, it was clear I would have no problem shedding lights on his secret. Mondo killed his own older brother. No, no matter what, I couldn't let the other gang members find out. If that happened, everything would have been ruined. Everything me and my brother had worked to create would have been destroyed. His death, or the girl I'd been carrying around, it would have all been for nothing. So that's why... I, that's I, why I... I... Mondo. After what I... After I saw what Manikuma had on me, my head filled up with a kind of fuzzy uneasiness and just started swirling around. I never felt anything like, th like it before. I, I just... I... I didn't know what to do about it. I wasn't sure what to think or say, but after a while that fuzzy uneasiness <laughs> turned itself into a rock hard lump of anxiety way down in my stomach. And it was right around then that Chihiro asked me to start working out with him. And right there, I... he told me a secret. <laughs> Fucking hell. Okay, I need, I need a drink because my voice has just gone now. Seriously? Jesus! Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry I lied to you. But why? Why now? Why are you telling me this all of a sudden? Because huh? I mean, you've kept that secret all this time, right? If anyone found out, you would. But... You, you're right, but... I want to change. I wrapped myself in lies. I'm weak. I want to destroy that version of me forever. His words were like a knife in my gut. I felt like he was exposing the lie. I, I felt like he was exposing the lie I'd be living myself. I have to change. I don't want to be weak anymore. You're so strong. It can't hurt you, right? Whatever secret Monokuma might tell us. You piece of... So what? You were saying I should just say it? What? You were saying if I really am, I should just be able to tell everyone my secret? Huh? Huh? I was jealous. I was jealous of Jahira's strength. He had the strength to face his own weakness to try and overcome it. It was the kind of strength I've never had. So I was jealous of him. And that jealousy broke me. What? Are you making fun of me? 
I'm strong. You fucking with me right now? No. I I'm not making fun of you. You really are strong, Mondo. I felt like I could hear something started to creak. Something inside my head. What did he want me to do? What was I supposed to do? What am I? Was I supposed to just sit back and let my secret get revealed and ruin everything? What's wrong? Why did you have to tell me all that? Are you trying to rub my failure in my face? I just wanted to admire you. I admire your strength. Yeah, that's right. That's right. I am strong. Strong. I'm strong. Strong, 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 strong. Stronger than you. You son of a bitch. And stronger than Dyer. I don't remember anything after that. When I woke up again, he was laying at my feet, covered in blood. I had the dumbbell in my hand, and I was just staring at him, down on the ground. <laughs> hey, hey! I killed, killed. Oh, there we go. I killed Chihiro, even after all this time. I'm still just as weak as I've always been. And thanks to that, I did something I can never take back. See, that's why I like him, because he's... Ah, oh, I just like him. Mondo. He was normally so aggressive, so angry. He hid that weak side away from everyone. That was his secret. A weakness like that lived in his heart, like his... And turned him cold blooded. God damn it! <laughs> Look at him! You see? You all just like him! For a secret from the past, just a bit for a memory! But then he killed another human being in cold blood! He could have kept free of his regrets from the outside world! <laughs> he did it all! He did. <laughs> Fuck. He didn't know what true strength is! Oh, uh -huh. yeah, kids. Fuck you. Do you see hope anywhere in there? Cause I sure don't. You bastard! Just shut up, you son of a bitch. Go ahead, say it again. I dare you. Yep. Okay, I'll say it again uh, as many times as I want. Here's what I want to say, but <laughs> unfortunately, I can't do that right now because the time for punishing is fast approaching. P -p punishing. You, you mean execution? Well now, well now, well now, well now. So, that's what I promise you, right? The black and the disturbs of peace will be punished. Ridiculous. <laughs> hold, hold on. Well, then, I've no. a very special punishment. For Mondo Water, the ultimate biker gang leader. No, no, wait, wait. Let's give it everything we've got. It's punishment time. It's time to rock and roll. I said wait. Sorry, man. I couldn't keep the promise we made from one man to another. Mondo has been found guilty. Time for the punishment. Oh, the product. Time to see the amazing Mondo. And Monokuma. <laughs> Monokuma's hair piece. Like I said, they're all to do with their, uh, you know, talents. So this is the motorcycle, you know, like, challenge thing where you have to go around in the circle in a bike. I have no idea if these actually exist in America. Because they're kind of fucking deadly. So they really shouldn't be allowed. I mean, obviously this stuff wouldn't happen. <laughs> Look at him fucking dancing. Obviously this wouldn't happen. Fucking hell. Going around at the speed of sound. Got places to go, gotta follow my mind, though.
Can't stick around cause I have to die. Mondo better. Is that cause he's like caught on the cob hair? I don't know. I don't really get why it's better. Laugh at death and your soul will be forever at peace. It can't be. My brother. Another murder and another execution. I want to feel again. Everyone's lives are taken so lightly here. I feel like I might be going mad. Maybe I'll just let it happen. <laughs> Attacker's sad screams invaded our skulls. Sorry, that was a burp. <laughs> that wasn't me crying, that was a burp. That was like, oh, wind. We were each forced to realize once again. But he, of course, he had to. But he, of course, he had to. What a disappointment. This is the end of the game. But, Biaka? You're completely insane, you know that? A game! One of our friends is dead, do you realize that? Naturally. Of course I do, because this game is life or death. Hey. I don't have anything to say to you. I don't have a response except However. that I just I don't understand why. Why did you go out of your way to disguise Monta's crime? What? Why? <laughs> Isn't it obvious? Because it made things more interesting. His voice was calm, emotionless, like the voice of death. It chilled me to the bone. Last night when the murder took place, I was in the library as usual. Honestly. So you ignored the night emerald too? <laughs> that rule never mattered to me, I don't recall agreeing to it. There is nothing to be done. I don't particularly care. Please continue. The night grew late and I decided to find my to return to my room, which is when I stumbled upon him. <laughs> I spotted Mondo coming out of the girl's locker room. After he'd gone, I looked inside and saw the corpse. Oh, you mean you actually you mean you actually witnessed the murder? He was such a fool. He didn't have the slightest idea that I'd seen him. Yo, wow. so you're saying you knew the carpet was from the very beginning? That's right. Indeed, but if that had been the end of it, how boring would have that been? I mean what a waste of time to have to and to have the answer revealed right at the beginning. <laughs> Which is why I decided to lend a little helping hand. I thought it would liven things up. You did all that to liven things up? So after hearing about the genocide Jack from Toko, you decided to use that. To create the fake murder scene. But, but damn man. But damn man, even if if we hadn't figured out who'd really done it, you would have been dead too, right? <laughs> Well, obviously, I would have revealed the truth before it reached the battle. Of course. Bianca turned and looked me in the eye. I could feel his sharp eyes piercing into me. Thanks for a certain remarkable someone who never did, and I was able to perform an interesting experiment. Interesting. Once I do decide to become the Blackened, I now know who I have to watch out for. What? Correct. So that was your reason. <laughs> Are you satisfied? Indeed. Yes, we're done listening to your story. Moving on. Hey. There's something I'd like to ask Monokuma. What's this? Oh! I'm up next! Mm. You like to perform these elaborate executions each time, correct? My question is, why? <laughs> Do you like them? But you know, this punishment, this despair, it's not just for you. <laughs> all this punishment, all this despair is my gift to mankind itself! What? You are over-exaggerating. I am not over-exaggerating! These punishments are meant to transform all hope to despair! What do you mean? 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 Mean, 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 mean! Good grief, I don't understand why you have to pick up on every little stupid thing! Hmm. Whatever, it doesn't matter. In the end, I'm going to stand alone as a victor, and then everything will be revealed to me. Ooh, how ah, the noble son of a noble family. Truly, you understand me. By the way, it looks like Bianca is mastermind. <laughs> I think this is the start of some terrifying friendship. 
Shut up, I would never stoop to the level of a child this criminal like you. Let me just say this. After I have achieved complete victory, you're up next. I'm going to find you and kill you. In Understand? The In the name of the Tikhanic family, for which victory a foregone conclusion. You're getting all riled up! Oh, so cool! It's like you're the main character of a video game or something! No trash mob for you! I swear, whatever it takes, I will kill you! <laughs> temper, temper! Sounds like someone needs a nap! <laughs> There we go, chapter two. Monokuma's laughter peeled across the courtroom and the curtain closed on a case of Chihiro Amundo. But I knew that wasn't the end. The killing game would still continue because the mastermind wouldn't let it end. For those of us who were still alive, our worst fear and despair kept on multiplying. It was the kind of despair that felt like a blind puppy in hell. In hell had more of a future than this. All of our courage, our effort, our friendship, it felt like it amounted to nothing at all. It was the worst kind of despair. Well, anyway, like I was saying, this is a pretty good spot. Yeah, a really good spot. Anyway, isn't it amazing how that girl went and killed someone before things even had a chance to get boring? Once things really get moving, It'll be like a roller coaster. There won't be any stopping it. Fear and despair charge forward at a speed nothing can hope to match. But I must admit, I'm disappointed. I went to all the pain and effort of making you part of the group, and you couldn't play your part. You do remember you were supposed to make the first move, right? Hmm. Well, no biggie. Nothing we can do about it now. So just do your best to make things more exciting from now on, okay? Okay, so because I know who the mastermind is, this is like really interesting. It's like when you watch like a murder like thing and you're going back trying to like find out who it is. And then you just, you know, you're like, oh shit, yeah. All these like little bits that add up. After all, that's what everyone wants to see. Here's one thing I like to As long as you don't want to know my measurements, fire away. Who is this? The first room five school students, I mean. My, my, you really took me by surprise there. I know I said you could ask anything, but... Super denied, ultra denied, demonic denied. Because you see, that's my ace in the hole. And nobody be dumb enough to reveal that, right? No matter how close they were to their friends. <laughs> Time to do Boys Life of the Spare, the end. So now we're down to ten. To be continued. You received the greatest diamond present. Two of a kind. <laughs> I know I shouldn't cry, but... I've had enough. I can't take it anymore. Getting out of here anytime soon? It's impossible. I can't let myself think about how much I want to get out of here. If I keep thinking like that, I might decide to.
donuts. I need to eat some donuts. That will cheer me up. Glazed donuts, twisty donuts, jelly donuts, cream filled donut holes, medicine. Okay. Oh, God of donuts, I'm praying for a wonderful encounter. <laughs> I'm sorry. Please forgive me for breaking the nighttime rule. But right now, for me, donuts are absolutely necessary. Huh? huh? What's that sound? Hmm. Sounds like it's coming from the bathhouse. But I'm super scared, Bert. I is is someone there? <gasps> that looks like you're here. And there we go. That is where we will end it. Okay. Chapter 3, A New Generation Legend, Stand Tall, Galactic Hero. Okay. So. Until next time, this has been Dark there. With Danganronpa. Goodbye.